Hello fans of Marvel Heroes! Initially, I wanted to release a video on one of the heroes that I've planned for for quite some time but it didn't happen because the last two days there was a server maintenance and I was not able to log in the game during my prime evening hours so I thought, okay, maybe I should do something easier so uh, this is one of the video requests uh, from some of you who are interested to know what I do in this game on a daily basis uh, I, I know where you come from because you want to see whether you have covered all the grounds or not because this game is really really fun and uh, it's kind of like having a lot of stuff going on right now uh, it's great because it's one of the reasons why I want to play an MMO to have all these goals that I chase after and the uh, and uh, I mean it's not as hardcore as other MMO and that's great uh, I was just talking you know, with two of my friends, uh, Dave and Zeb, over lunch the other day, and they also find that uh, they haven't been around for a couple of months uh, due to work. Uh, they found that the game has changed so much. So I thought maybe you know this video is for the new players as well as those who maybe uh, disappear for a couple of months or you know quite some time and just coming back to the game and just trying to get into groove. So uh, this video is twelve goals you wouldn't want to miss. All right, and uh, it is goals that is. Uh, you know my goals past and present because i thought even those those some of these goals i've already attained them uh, but they may be, still be relevant to you so i said why not i add them up into my one video all right so so just go back to the game here and uh, i'll show you some of this stuff because i need to walk you through some of these uh, places and so on so the first goal that you may want to do is that um uh sorry i usually close this guy uh the first goal that you would like to look into is um, is to level up your vendors, um, the crafter, enchanter, as well as the um, the, the gear vendor, because um, you know there's a lot of exciting things uh, once you unlock them to the max rank here. So you know, I suggest your immediate goal as a new player is to level those three things up: and crafter, enchanter, and gear vendor. Now, why gear vendor? Because gear vendor give you something called a credit drop enchantment of wealth. Now that that is a random thing. You need to keep refreshing, and uh, at max you have a much higher chance. I think rank seventeen and above you have a chance, but at max you have much better chance. Why is this useful? Because this one will help my goal number two, which is the uh, credit. Uh, some of these goals are in conflict, as you can see, because when you donate items for XP to level up the vendor, uh, you don't get keep, to keep the credit. So. It is a lot harder for you to earn credit, but once you get rid of the first goal, once you have attained the first goal, your second goal should be on the credit. Now, this game has a credit cap of 3 million, so once you hit 3 million, it flatlines. Uh, you know, I know many people may not like it, but I, I actually personally love it because uh, it forced me not to hoard currency like I did for other games that like I just keep, you know, the gold just keep piling up and I'm not spending them. Now I'm forced to spend it and it's great. Now, how do I spend my credit? Why do I need so much credit? Is that uh, the first thing that I usually do uh, for all my new heroes and the uh, existing heroes as well is the roll costume affixes. Now, all these affixes cost money. And the, uh, you should check the compendium. You, you Google Marvel Hero Compendium, and there's a website to tell you all the maximum road for all these uh, cost fixes. Uh, for offensive is uh, crit damage. For defensive is uh, health. All right, uh, regardless of what hero you have. So um, for for all my hero, usually I have two sets of uh, costumes. So one like for Rook here, I have one that is for crit damage rating, uh, but I also have one for health as well. All right. For, for some heroes, I need both. For some, I can get away with, with just the uh, crit damage. Now, in order to get 90% of the max value, which is what I usually do, it costs around 1 to 1.5 million credits, alright? And that's only for one set of costume. Now, if you are lucky enough, you get it maybe 500,000, alright? Uh, but uh, usually, my luck is just average out. So, uh, it takes around uh, 1 million credits, alright, 1.5 million you know, on a bad day, to just get there. So two set of costume usually will drain my credit down to 1 million or even below. But that's fine, because earning credit is easy. So long as you're not donating your items to the vendor, uh, when you need to level them up. Uh, and for me, two things is important, important here. Two things are important here. The first one is, of course, put in the... Um, if you can afford it, like for instance, um, you know, Rogue Eye, somehow I didn't do it, but uh, I have some farming 
uh, like for instance my gene I have like a plus 20 more credit point per drop and all this plus 60 more credit it adds up beautifully uh, um, so I you know I, I do enchant to like see how I think uh, the other set of gear see all these are you know 20, 20, 20 more credit per drop because you know all this I mean I need my credit to come back fast right so the first tip is that uh, row uh, you know uh, uh, 20 plus 20 for your for your for your unique and the second tip is to do level 60 content because anything not level 60 they're not rewarding as much credit all right uh, why do i need so much credit because i need to um, um do something like the uh, i need to um, reroll my unbind my artifacts because sometimes i need to move my artifacts around at cost like uh, 90,000 uh, sometimes I need to reset the artifact numbers and that is like another 200,000 just to do that swap blessing is another 100,000 and you can do a reroll of uh, you know unique uh, numbers well that cost you another like um, 300 you know 350,000 or maybe maybe 340,000 right so all these are really big ticket items uh, when it comes to credit, your credit will string really fast, but that's fine. You can earn it back as well. So that is my goal as of today as well to just keep. Uh, when I hit three million, I bring it down to one to two million, and then I accumulate wealth again. And it's part of the fun of the game. Just keep getting credit. All right. So that is my goal number two: is to accumulate credit that conflict with the goal number one, which is leveling vendor. Okay. Um, my the other my my third um, goal, which I've already more or less get there, got there already, but uh, for some of you, uh, you may be interested to know something called Hero XP Synergy, all right, so for those new players. Uh, if you mouse over here, it's called Hero Synergy Bonus XP. So the more hero you have, the more bonus you have in your XP. Now that is a wonderful thing because you need XP to level up new heroes. There are like 47 heroes as of today. You need XP to gain Omega points that I'm going to talk about later. Uh, so in short, you need this number to hit the magic 200% if you love this game so much, all right? But it's not a mandatory. You can do it slowly. You just take more time or eat more booster. Uh, but I strongly suggest those who really like this game, you know, like the Marvel Universe, just to get this to 200%. To get this to 200%, you need 29 hero level to level 60. The first couple of them is going to be slow, but as you get more and more heroes, you get faster and faster. As you know where to do, what not, then uh, yeah, it's a breeze. Um, to unlock hero, there are a couple of ways. One is to collect something called Eternal Splinter. The game gives this for free. It's like um, like like those breadcrumb that you drop on the floor and just keep eating and keep playing kind of thing. So they want you to just keep playing the game by dropping you all these breadcrumb uh, splinters. And you can come to here, uh, Eternal Splinter Vendor, to unlock any um, sorry to unlock any any uh, hero that you want, even team up. So all these heroes are free to unlock, and uh, if you have patience. Uh, you can unlock them free of charge. Alternatively, you can come to this um, hero here and just unlock it using gold, uh, which is uh, money. Um, and, uh, in the past, I did both. I, I did use uh, Eternal Splinter, but I sometimes they have some uh, like nice um, uh, hero discount, a like 50% discount, or buy one get one free. Uh, those are good times to just stock up on your favorite hero that is still taking to, uh, you know, a bit of time. Uh, I buy packs as well. I buy the advanced pack one, advanced pack two, just to show appreciation to Gazillion because I think it's a wonderful game. And since uh, I'm working, so I can afford some of these things, so I I don't mind really to just contribute back and say you know, uh, yeah, I mean job well done. You know, you should uh, earn something. Uh, but for the rest of you, you know, understand that uh, you may be studying or just uh, uh, just play this as a free to play, and that's all right as well. Come to here. Grab your free uh, hero as you play the game Collab Splinter. All right, so that's a hero, and of course uh, you may check out my another video on the hero synergy. Um, the heroes, uh, you know, give you synergy, and these are really good synergy to have as well. All right, so that's the uh, goal number three that I uh, I'm still doing uh, as new hero get released. I play them. All right, uh, goal number four is on Odin Mark. Not my favorite one, I have to admit, uh, because uh, just a little bit uh, because there's so many things to do in this game. And if you're doing something else and you're just not earning enough OD mark, now why do you need OD mark? Is that uh, for each of those artifacts there, you can bless them. Uh, come to this uh, enchanter here, and you can bless them with uh, something called, you know, the best is of course Hela for non summoner and Frigga for summoner. This is a Frigga, 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 something. Well, Frigga is here, All right? 
So that is the uh, Frig, all right, for Samana, and that is the um, the Hela for non Samana. I just need the two. You don't need to think about any other things. But each of them cost one hundred Odima, all right. So that's a lot of Odima that you need to invest four hundred of them for four artifacts. That's not the end of it. Um, you can uh, you can also get a Grey Seventy Legendary. You just need to go to Odin Palace. I just want I just want to show you where things are. Uh, because I do realize that in my channel, some of you are new to the game, so I just make sure that you know what I'm talking about. You can come to here, legendary vendor. If you are new to the game, not sure what legendary le what legendary to get. If you are non summoner, get a Gunir. It will not go wrong. If you are summoner, get a Trident. All right. So now this costs three hundred uh, OD, um, OD marks, and together with the artifacts, only seven hundred OD marks. All right. Um, and the, uh, now, of course, if you're a hybrid, um, you can get the Power Cosmic, which is using some other currency called the, um, the World Stone, but I'm not going to cover in this video here. But uh, I think for the rest of the hero, uh, you have to put aside 700 Odima per hero to, to gear them up. And if you're really rich, like um, you have more than 1,000 OD marks for whatever reason it is, because like some just play a few heroes like my wife, and she, uh, she accumulated quite a lot of OD marks. So if you are that fortunate, you can come here, provided that your reputation or, like. or um, uh, what is it called, the influence is high enough, you can buy those uh, with the, uh, you know, these are very wonderful uh, uh, oh, oh, you know, uh, legendary to get. These are great 80 legendary, top of the line. Fantastic stuff, but do check out my the other video on the uh, Great AT Legendary review because you know not all of them are great, and you can't just pick Gunir for you know unless you are you know geared to the extreme. Um, check out my the, the other video; you won't regret on the Great AT Legendary. All right, so these are the Odima, and to earn Odima, you have to do something called Legendary Quest. This is why. Uh, sometimes I do it, um, but usually nowadays I ignore because you know you get one Odima to do something. Why not do something called share quest? Because share quest uh, earns you commendation together with the boxes that you get for each one. I mean, if you you get a daily bonus, you get you got two chests, right? So inside a chest, you have a chance of maybe like uh, I think three to five to seven uh, Odin marks, right? So uh, if you complete all three of them, which I think you should. Um, then you get quite a few of OD marks as well. And when I level up my heroes, I will actually do um, a legendary quests as well, just to stock up on the OD mark because I burn quite a lot doing all these uh, heroes videos. All right, so that is on the OD mark. Not going to talk too much. And the, uh, oh yeah, Odin event by the way is one that I believe you have chests within the chest. You can get some OD mark inside as well. Okay. Um, the number five, the goal number five, which I'm no longer doing, thank God, for, uh, thank Odin for it, um, is the Omega race. Now, um, I, I think the, um, I have to confess that, um, you know, it, it's probably one of the, the darkest time of my career is to try to get the um, Omega point to 7,500. It was so boring for me. Um, I keep farming the, um, some of the terminal. I've got a video on that as well. Um, to just try to get the over and done with because with 7,500 7, Odima you can do quite a fair bit of stuff even if the hero is weak or so on you can make it a little bit more awesome and I do play a lot of weak heroes as well I'm not just play all these like OP heroes so uh, to me this, this is very important and also because Gazillion is going to raise this in June, uh, raise the cap. So if you are falling behind uh, when they raise the cap you are going to fall even behind right so so it is utmost importance, uh, at least for me, to get to this uh, 7,500. But to do this, you have to keep farming the cosmic bosses, those short terminals, not the large one, like Doom. You do like uh, Taskmaster, Shocker, Octopus. Those are the fastest. You go in within less than one minute, you get back out, you go back in again, get back out, just to farm the ops. And you, you do it during the Odin event, uh, um, cha uh, uh, Chaos event. A cosmic chaos event as well as the uh, omega event so you know these are the three events that you can get quite a lot of omega points just by farming cosmic terminal that's why some of these goals are in conflict because if you are farming omega pawn how can you get odin mark you can't you get zero omega odin mark right and uh, even for commendation it's not easy uh, when you want to you know farm both at the same time unless you have a lot of time to play this game uh, some of us only i only have about one one hour or one to two hours a day to do it so i can't all right um but yes very important get your omega pawn to cap that is your goal
So, yeah, I didn't enjoy it, but um, yeah, but I think you should. Okay, um, goal number six, uh, which I also fortunately has gotten over with, uh, but it's not hard to do that. It's the um, the unique upgrade. So you know, uh, you can actually upgrade your unique from if you get a level sixty unique, they say grade sixty three, uh, something like uh, maybe if I could show you, I don't know whether I have uh, one that is. Um, so for instance, if some of this here, for instance, this one here, it's a gray, item gray 63, the one below, right? So um, you, you can upgrade this one to uh, gray 60, sorry, gray 66 and then 69. So you have gray 66, all right, 63 to 66, and then 66 to 69, all right? So it makes your unique more powerful. In order to do that, uh, you need something called commendation, hero commendation and uh, protector combination and you need uh, 1350 hero combination and also the same amount for the protector as well in order to unlock all these 12 recipe that is really well worth your time so these are the recipe I'm talking about uh, for you to get uh, just talk to this guy it's about I think it's about uh, two months of uh, work you can get there now like I said before some of these are in conflict. So if you are doing the Omega Raids, what can you do? So what I did in the past, just want to share with you, uh, is that I do Green Raid per week. So every week I get 100, uh, 100, 500, 150 Hero Commendation. Um, and uh, every week. So I just do that, call it a day. And uh, you, know, I, I, you know, I get all my 66, uh, sorry, 66 upgrade quite fast through the raid. Because it's only half an hour work, I don't need to worry about all this one shot and whatnot. Uh, but for the protector, uh, you know, you probably need to do some of this thing. But fortunately for me, by the time I, I finish my Omega points, I got enough time to do all these other things to enjoy life and get some protector commendation. And check out my the other video on how to get all this commend commendation here. So these are commendation. You can unlock all this recipe. It's totally worth it. All right. So uh, this is, should be your goal. Uh, very high priority goal. So all these are prioritized. All these things are you talk about, and then um, I I went to the Hammer Bay just now. Now there's something called influence in this uh, this game right now. Uh, influence is something that um, that you could uh, you you it's like a reputation system in other MMO, but it's a lot more casual. It's not as uh, bad as trying to get exalted with the uh, one of the uh, I don't know to get a. Dragon Mount or whatnot, so it's not that bad. I'm still working towards that. Uh, there's a weekly limit, um, but uh, you know, to to do that, you have to come to this guy here. The weekly, uh, this this lady here give you the uh, daily, and this gentleman here give you a weekly uh, influence uh, quest. It looks something like this. You go to here, influence mission, and you have all these things here, all right, to do. So they tell you that they give you forty and thirty just to complete. A weekly mission all right so this is totally worth it i give you four and three of them all right so uh but why do you want to do that um uh quite frankly speaking um the the i um because i i don't have enough old mark to do all this like uh, fanciful stuff but if you do it's one really worth it to just unlock the um you know influence side of it uh you can upgrade a medallion or or insignia but seriously speaking um i it's really for those who really want to get one hero to be the max or so on. I can't. I, I do many video for many heroes, so I, I it's not thing interest me here so far. But uh, you know, it may be something that you want to do. All right. So that is for the GLF uh, influence. Yeah. Okay. Um, goal number eight is very straightforward, right? Because this is an ARPG. Well, okay. Originally, it's an action role playing game, but I think it become an MMO in some sense. Gear farming is important because. Um, you know, you want to get some good gears uh, to, to further make your heroes more powerful. Uh, so I would strongly recommend you to go to marvelheroes.info, browse the items there and see which one you want. Now, uh, more often than not, these are the uh, guys that you can, uh, you know, all these bosses in this cosmic terminal. I will do cosmic, I will not do green or red, all right? So um, these have a chance to drop you either artifact and or unique that is specific to the boss right so um, these are very nice and do it in conjunction with your omega rays because uh, you know that make it less uh, someone dropped something there uh, got, got me distracted um, that make it less uh, painful when you try to farm omega point is that why try to farm gear like for instance could give you a very nice boot called Nisanti boot um, you know uh, then you know um, 
uh, kingpin drop something like you know the uh, the artifact as well. So yeah, I mean there 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 are many stuff to farm here. Uh, I spend quite a lot of time farming, and it, on, in addition, you can come to challenges like the midtown patrol. A cosmic, I do cosmic version and the uh, industrial city patrol. These have the uh, boss specific drops as well. Very nice stuff inside. Uh, Age of Ultron is something that I think there are some artifacts for you to get if you get a gold and um, it's something that totally should uh, check it out as well. So yeah, I mean gear farming in this game is wonderful. There are many many places to, to farm gears. Um, that brings me to the next point about raiding as well because some some of you may want to set your eyes on raiding. I think green raid is uh, is easy. Um, I, I get in usually quite quite easily, and green raid like this one is quite easy. Uh, the red one is something that I'm still aspire to go to, but uh, nowadays with the title come up, uh, in order to join a red raid, they usually ask for a title. So without a title, they want to, they probably don't want to play with you. So you are stuck, right? Without a title, you can't do red raid. But without if you don't do red raid, you don't get a title. So how to get a title? Hmm, maybe you should pay a blessing for it. I don't know. Um. So yeah, I mean the. So these are some of the things that you may aspire to do. Uh, this one is even harder. Um, the requirement is a lot harder as well. I haven't seen it myself, uh, unfortunately. I'm a big fan of raiding. When uh, in my day of World of Warcraft, I raid quite a fair bit. But uh, unfortunately, some of these are just beyond reach for me. Huh? Uh, but I mean, if you have the gear and uh, whatnot, I think you should go in and farm some of these things there. All right. So, um, the last couple of points is really about. Um, about um, not about in-game progress per se, because not everybody wants to play this game for 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 progress. Because uh, sometimes it can just do it for fun, right? I mean, um, if you love your hero a lot, you may want to uh, prestige your hero, yes. And the uh, and and to prestige your hero, you can uh, you know the last time this happened. Um, you know, uh, it hang my whole entire recording, and I have to do it again. This is my second time doing it, so I'm not going to. I'm not going to uh, stop this video. I'm going to continue shooting, knowing that this is going to hang anyway. So, <laughs> thank you, Marvel heroes. Okay, so I'm just talking you through uh, prestige. You can uh, you can pre prestige your hero up to five times um, to to get to red stage, like you see my rogue. Um, and then the um, you can go to one of the uh, the vendor inside Avenger Tower called North. Is something called Clear, I think. Um, that you can purchase an item called the uh, something called prestige of the don't know what and uh, you can get it and reset your level back to one check out my the other video uh, on prestige before you commit to prestige because uh yeah because uh, there, there are things that you should just there's a there's a checklist for you uh, before you do that but uh, i mean if you love the game a lot uh, love your hero a lot you may want the prestige um, you know uh, just reset back to level one do it again but uh, up to the fifth time when you get the red i suggest you stop there because uh, the next one will be cosmic prestige is going to be a lot slower 25 times slower so uh, it is not very omega friendly by the way when you do prestige so yeah and the, um you know uh, you you can you can play the achievement as well because uh, you can you can look into one of the shortcut key i think v or something like that um you can see all the achievement now achievement doesn't reward you too much i mean you know you, you get some omega points some gear and so on but uh you know you you do get some free costume when you do um uh you know all this uh, stuff as well so yeah uh just check it out and the uh you know just play the achievement system uh, get some free costume there so i guess this is the end of the video the thing still hang so um I, what I do is I, I actually got some slides, you know, draw up nicely, but unfortunately I can't show you. So I, I just recap here, right? So um, there, there are many goals here in this game. The one that I highlight to you are the major one that I do, past and present. And there are some of the goals I have achieved already, but I thought it's still relevant to you. So, you know, the vendor, just make sure your crafter, your your uh, gear vendor as well, your enchanter are being maxed up. Those are very important, all right? Uh, credit is what I do every day as well. I try to farm credit as well. It's important to get enough credit for me to roll costume, to reroll our fixes and so on. Uh, unlock the heroes because, you know, it is so rare to find a game. There's so many heroes that you play. I mean, you play Diablo 3. How many classes do you have? You come to here, you have 47. And then later on, Dr. Doom comes in for the 8, right? So do that, uh, unlock more hero, have fun with it, all right? So after that, um, you know, uh, 
talk about Odima. So Odima is something that you need to constantly think about, constantly be farming about it, uh, do a share quest and so on, just to, uh, if you want to do, collect your, your great 80 legendary, you know, you get to have the 1000 Odima, right? So uh, Omega Rays, the one that you have to keep uh, farming Omega Pawns, all right? So that is important. Upgrade your, your unique to rank 69. 66 first, get the Omega, then jump to 69. Those are really, really important things. Uh, then after that influence quest I talk about gear farming, prestige, uh, achievement and also um, beyond is all the rate and stuff like that. So I hope this video is useful. I'm going to kill off this game and, and it will eventually kill off my video. So I'm just do it while I'm just keep talking and um, and the, uh, yeah, uh, do, I mean please feel free to continue. Um, uh, uh, suggest all the games. Uh, I mean, anything that you would like to, me to cover, I'm more than happy to do it for you. All right. So till next time, I see you. Goodbye. I think and process. Bye.